Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we're engraving some really crappy electroplated mystery metal. I'm sure you guys have seen this from time to time and probably been asked to engrave it. It can be a little difficult. You have to be kind of gentle with it because the electroplating is so bad. If we hit it too hard, the sparks alone can take the electroplating off of a metal like this. So uh, I'm going to walk you through it. It's not too different from what we normally do. Uh, so this might just be another tutorial to you. Uh, but we're going to take a look at some settings and see if we can't get this right. So uh, hang out. We're going to get started right now. All right guys, so we've got some really crappy, this is just like electro-plated pot metal, um, and we're not gonna waste any time hitting this with the baby powder. There's nothing fancy going on here, and we need to be able to see what we're doing. So we're just gonna slap some of that down and uh, rub it around here so that we can see what we are working on as we're working on it. Uh, and that's gonna do really well for us. We'll go ahead and get the machine on and uh, get a basic layout done for this, and uh, we'll move on. I'm just gonna grab the uh, handy dandy caliper here and we're gonna take a quick measurement uh, just for like a nice box outline here. Um, he does want two names next to each other for as many rows as we can do. We'll probably get about three before we have to start doing single file. Uh, so we want this full width here. Uh, so let's just take a quick measurement. Uh, looks like we've got about 14 millimeters high and we're coming 65 millimeters or so across. So. Uh, we're just going to write those down really quick and now that we have those measurements we can just go ahead and whip something up in EasyCAD really quick. Okay guys so I just wanted to show you kind of how I have this set up in Illustrator before we bring it into EasyCAD. So we have our main box here which is going to lay over our metal really nicely uh, and what I did is I found the center and then I cut that center in half uh, on each side and the customer wants two rows of names uh, so you know name one name two name three name four name five name six uh, so I like this setup because it keeps each column centered uh, and it does allow for us to have six names total before he has to shift down the metal and start putting names one at a time uh, so I think this is the way to, to maximize that space all we're doing is just making sure that we grab our text once it is typed out and uh, we're gonna hold shift and select our center line and then uh, we're just gonna click the center line again to make it the active object, and we're gonna align it horizontally. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on this side, so select the text, the line, select the line again to make it the key object, and center horizontally, uh, and that is perfect. So with that done, um, we can go ahead and get rid, whoop. Uh, so with that done, we can go ahead and get rid of our dividing lines that we're using to center things up and uh, we can send this over to EasyCAD. Do not forget to uh, expand your text. You definitely wanna get your text expanded. If you don't remember how to do that, once you type your text out, just object, expand. If you don't do this, EasyCAD will not be able to see your text. So uh, we just wanna make sure that we get that expanded. And then uh, for since we're here for EasyCAD, we are gonna be saving this as a version eight. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, save this here and we're just gonna come down and do version eight, Illustrator version eight, and we're good to go, that's it. So we'll just hit okay, and we'll uh, hop over to EasyCAD and uh, get started on this right now. So here we are in EasyCAD, guys, and uh, we're just gonna start by importing our artwork. So we'll just find that here and uh, get this in, and we're gonna do Shift and C to center that up. And uh, so what do we got going on here? Well, we got our outline box, and uh, we should probably go line things up with that first, so we will ungroup and uh, select everything here and we're just going to group the text so that that's its own thing and we're going to cut it out we'll be able to paste that right back where we took it from and uh, let's light this and go check it out over at the laser we can hardly see this at all guys uh, so i'm going to go ahead and turn our lights off just to increase visibility a little bit that's a lot better and you can see we're way way oversized there so uh, we're going to have to definitely come down on focus so we'll get our handy dandy focal stick and uh, we'll bring this down so that we can take a better look at it and get things lined up. Now I could center right, I could focus right to the center here, but um, this is actually curved quite a bit there. Uh, so we want to center halfway down the curve as we do. 
So I'm actually gonna position my focal stick over here, off to the side, just a little bit. Right about there should be effective, and uh, we'll just drop that focus just a little bit more. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it really makes a difference. So with that done, we can just grab our part now and get this centered up. And that looks really good. So we can go drop our artwork back in, pick a hatch, and uh, get this thing knocked out. So with that looking good, we can stop lighting and paste our text back in and get rid of our outline because we don't need that anymore. And uh, we'll just go ahead and hatch this real quick. Standard laser everything hatch, nothing weird over here, okay? Uh, both enabled 45 degrees and negative 45 degrees. Standard line distance of 0 0.025, um, we'll hit OK. And we need to pick a setting. Uh, we want to start light with electroplating. If we hit it too hard, it's going to knock the electroplating off in the surrounding areas, and we don't want that. Uh, so while we could start with like a steel, I think the aluminum is probably a better setting to go for. Uh, so we'll, we'll go with the aluminum for now. If we have to add the steel, we can add it later. You can always hit it harder and remove more material, but you can't put any back once it's done. So start with aluminum and that's going to bring us to 1000 speed 80 power and 25 frequency and this should be a great start so uh, let's go ahead and run this and then we'll kind of reassess once we're in the laser and uh, we can come back here and make changes if we need to So what to do, what to do. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look as crappy as I would have initially thought. I think I want it a little bit darker rather than lighter. We could do a white finish on this and brighten it up and that would look fine, but I don't think that we are getting the best contrast that we could get if we do it that way. So um, I think I'm gonna actually slow this down a little bit and then we'll try it again. So to get this a little bit darker, we're going to reduce our speed. I don't think we need to, we could go to 250. 250 is pretty slow. I think just halving this right now is probably going to be fine. So uh, we'll take it down to 500. Um, we're going to leave the power at 80 and the speed at 25. And this should give us a good result uh, and kind of darken things up. Get us a little more contrast on this reflective belt piece. So with that done, uh, let's just pop back over to the laser and we'll run this one. and that looks pretty good guys um i think i'm going to call it there so what we're going to do now is we're just going to rinse it off in the sink really quick and then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of oil and that should leave us with a really nice looking engraving so let's go get this rinsed Now, I can definitely see some spots on this where the electroplating that's on here uh, is a little bit damaged from the laser, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. You can't help it with this stuff. It's so cheap. There's just not really anything you can do with that. We we're just going to go through and just make sure that we get it really, really dry before we add our oil. Uh, and then we can come back at it and take another look. Uh, but it doesn't look too bad as is. I can get it in the right light here. It's just so reflective, um, but we'll try to take it over to the other side of the room and get a better look at it over there. Cause the way I'm looking at it, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let's take it over there and take a look. So here's our less than ideal material guys. And I'm just gonna give it a drop or two of three in one oil. One, two, that's it. 
And we're gonna grab just our nylon cloth napkin here and rub it in. And that'll even out the tone of the engravings a little bit. Um, I can't stress enough, this is not a good material to be engraving. Um, we're doing the best we can with a crappy situation right now. That looks pretty good though. Uh, I definitely think the customer is gonna be happy with it. He knows that this is cheap stuff. Uh, he's not gonna be shocked that his, uh, he's not gonna be shocked that his electro dipped plastic cheapo metal thing didn't come out like, you know, brilliant. I, I think this is really good. This is probably about as good as we could hope for. So that's how you deal with this metal guys. It can be a, it can be a little rowdy to deal with, but um, it's definitely workable. You can definitely do something with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope that you got some value out of it. Maybe learned a thing or two about dealing with this crappy, difficult material. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, let other people know the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post a video. If you really loved it, don't forget to check out the Patreon. Every Patreon supporter gets instant access to our entire fiber laser and CO2 laser libraries, as well as a ton of other perks that really deliver a ton of value to you. And it helps support the channel so that I can continue to make videos like this for you and everybody else who needs them. There's a link to the Patreon in the description, and while you're down there, don't forget to check out the Discord. If you're not already a member, it's free, it only takes a minute to sign up, and it's an amazing community filled with people who love lasers and love talking about lasers and sharing photos of their work and helping other people out. So if you want to be part of a great community like that, I highly recommend you also check out the Discord. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. I'm done with this. I can't wait to even just, I want to get it out of my shop and out of my sight. So uh, I'm going to go call this guy and have him come pick up his metal and I will see you in the next one.